Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Virgo friends and friends of Virgo. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising, and I am Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So this is your reading for January 15th through the 21st. All messages are also timeless, so please, if you feel drawn to something, there's a message there for you. I encourage you to check it out. Okay, um, so I do pull a couple oracle cards prior, and then I meditate on your energy for messages coming through, and then we get into the tarot, just to give you a heads up on how my channel works here. So Virgo, tapping into your energy prior, what I saw was an orchid. So the message um, that was coming through that <clears throat> with an orchid, uh, their orchid care, I guess. When an orchid creates its stem or the, the flower stem or the spike, after the blooms start to wither, you need to trim it back to... Um, just above the first node so that it can bloom again or if the spike starts to brown or wither you have to take it all the way back so if it's healthy and you can trim it to get another set of blooms you have to make sure that the leaves are looking like it's very healthy so the entire root system is what we're looking at basically the message that i got from it was that the root system health is what we're talking about so your core health this could be physical health mental health spiritual health combination of all of it there's something about blooming uh before we go into blooming we're making or before we cut back so that we can bloom again making sure that the core health is there i also saw the process of so when a cell splits how it uh, copies the dna and then pulls the dna to each cell pulls it apart. That's what I saw was like the pulling of the DNA apart into splitting. So I feel like we're like going all the way back to <laughs> core, core health, something about um, even the health of the DNA. So let's get into your Oracle card. You guys, you have, you're not alone <clears throat> or excuse me. You're not for everyone. <laughs> you're also not alone. Okay. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness, face your true North. So this card is about, uh, the encouragement is, is to not waste your precious time or energy trying to get people to like you that just don't like you, <laughs> that there are just going to be some people that are not for you and that's okay. And how there may be unnecessary hurt by trying to encourage a connection where there's not meant to be one. So I can very much relate to this, you guys. You know, I am Virgo rising, Virgo moon, especially starting this channel. It has been a journey realizing that, you know, I'm just not for everyone. That's totally fine. <laughs> um, so you may be struggling with something like this too, not to waste your gifts on those that were never meant to receive them, okay? So make sure that you're honoring yourself and your own precious time and energy, like I said, and not trying to get those who just don't like you to like you because... They just were never meant to like you. Um, the question in this is how can you embrace your weirdness and not care so much what other people think? So the animal spirit oracle you guys got is dragonfly. And I do feel encouraged just to read from the book here on this one. Dragonfly there you guys have, that's air. So master of light, illusion, and the mind. You guys are ruled by Mercury, so that's very much the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and awe. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly card appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Um, are they restless or still, dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, he's clearly joyful and magical. When out of balance, can't concentrate, busy mind. So to bring the energy into balance, there is an encouragement to focus the breath. So since we're all meditating, right? Focusing the breath is gonna be very important. Okay, let's get into the tarot. See what message we have for Virgo. Spirit, please, what do we have? My Virgo friend. You guys, I do still have my 5,000 subscriber contest going on. If you want to enter for a chance to win a free reading, that information is going to be a pinned comment. <coughs> Pair down. 
And thank you guys for your love and support, as always. Truly appreciate it. Um, if this message is resonating with you, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Hit that notification bell. I could not build this channel without your support. And thank you guys for supporting me and my goal here. I truly appreciate it. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description if you feel drawn to donate or tip. I will absolutely accept that. And thank you guys so much to those who have. I truly appreciate it. I also offer personal readings. That is a link in the description. Feel free to check out my website. All right, Virgo. I hope you guys are having a good start to your year. It's been kind of weird for me. Hit and miss. Thanks for asking. I appreciate it. <laughs> Nine of Swords, okay. <laughs> so um, this is gonna be like a continuing nightmare, right? Anxiety, having a nightmare, waking up into that nightmare, that not, not going away. Being in your hope, I feel like there's this hope for this nightmare to end, whatever's going on, whatever's causing you anxiety right now, it seems to be pretty extreme. And I was just gonna say, I was just in the hospital a couple of days ago and, um, at least as far as we can tell, it was just uh, just anxiety and stress, okay? Causing me to feel like I was dying, so that's fine. <laughs> Maybe you guys are experiencing something similar. So far, I can very much relate to this message. Yes, I would love for that anxiety and stress to end. Okay, Spirit, what do we have here for Virgo? Maybe you don't know what's causing the anxiety or stress. I think, was it last week there was a... Something needed to be brought to light. Something big needed to be illuminated. Maybe you do know. I don't know, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. <laughs> I feel you, though. I feel you. Um, this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. If the message is resonating with you, please allow that to resonate. If it's not, that's totally fine. No need to force something to fit that doesn't fit. It is normal for energies to be flopped or fluid, to apply to other people in your life. We do have cross watchers watching as well. Feel free to take a look at your rising moon and Venus for additional messages. Ten of Cups. So being in your fear or anxiety, I feel like this is surrounding, um, what, I, what I'm hearing is cut off from the love. I don't know, maybe that's what's causing you this anxiety too, the Nine of Swords, you're hoping or wanting this anxiety to end, um, something may be going on with your family, whether this is like your birth family, chosen family, partner, children, parents, something is going on with the family unit. Maybe, <laughs> maybe some of you have gotten pregnant and there's fear or anxiety surrounding that. Let's see, let's carry forward. So in your general to start, Virgo, King of Pentacles. I feel like that's a very good start, okay? Um, King of Pentacles, this is going to be wealth. This is somebody who knows how to build wealth, is generous about giving their own wealth, giving the information about how to build that wealth. They're a great partner, parent, protector. So this could be, for those of you that are having anxiety surrounding the family unit, this could be you. Maybe feeling like, oh, I'm kind of feeling like you're not feeling like you're enough, maybe as far as a parent or partner. Or you may be struggling with your partner as well. But I hear is like step up, wanting someone to step up. Interesting. Let's keep going. My encouragement on that is to Hmm. Make sure that you're not projecting if that is you like wanting somebody to step up. Everybody's situation is different, okay? But you're not for everyone is what is coming through. And that was interesting that you're not alone. Some of you may be feeling alone though. Because there's another there's another Oracle card here that talks about you not being alone. All right. Let's keep going. So Ace of Cups, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be um, the start of a new emotional opportunity. For some of you, I feel like, because what was coming through with the King of, what I'm seeing is like, um, and I don't like to have gender roles because, because. <laughs> 
Um, this isn't the 1800s anymore, but what I'm getting is like, well, it doesn't matter if it's a wife or husband, just a partner to another partner, just going like, this is your role and I need you to step up into that role. And there's something about that with the Ace of Cups being a new emotional opportunity here for you to examine the way that you may be expecting something that doesn't make sense. That's for some of you. But for others of you, you guys, I feel like this is actually a really good message. You are stepping into um, your own power by taking, you know, taking control of the King of Pentacles that's inside of you. Instead of expecting that from somebody else, you are taking charge and doing it yourself. Not out of spite, but because this is who you are. So with the Ace of Cups being a new emotional opportunity for some of you, I feel like this could be, um, this could be a new partner coming in friend, business partner with the King of Pentacles, especially, because this is somebody who's willing to do what it, whatever it takes is what, what comes through here too. So there's a new opportunity of some sort coming through. Let's get some more information here. Any more info on the general for Virgo, please, spirit? The emperor. So I do feel like the Hierophant at the bottom. So kind of on the same line, like I was saying, this is um, tradition, okay? Traditional gender roles is what was coming through for me. Try to stop that if you're doing that, okay? <laughs> I'm not telling you how to have your relationship, but um, what I'm getting is it's causing problems, okay? <clears throat> um, if there's a conversation that needs to happen with some more honesty and pragmatism, like have that conversation, but make sure either party, you're not projecting gender roles or expectations onto your partner because I'm just getting it's not helpful, okay? <laughs> the emperor here. Um, this is going to be the divine masculine, but it's also a divine counterpart. So having the ace of cups here and have this come out, I feel like there's an opportunity for this, you guys. Like your divine counterpart is coming in, but if this is you that it's applying to, taking, stepping up to be that king of pentacles for yourself, you are connecting to the divine you are not becoming but you're positioning yourself to be that divine counterpart for your divine counterpart that makes sense i love this um being the the divine masculine as well so this is control and power all right like i was saying with the the king of pentacles but being the divine masculine there is a call to um be present all right and i feel like for those of you that maybe having issues 1313 on the timer maybe having issues with expectations or whatever <clears throat> projections there is a request to become present make sure that you're not calling from the past or the future as far as a projection goes make sure that you're having conversations from the present is what i'm getting release <laughs> release grudges wounds and pent-up feelings through healthy activities yes that's exactly what i was feeling like there's something, there's something coming to a boiling point, awakening, a realization shift or discovery. Maybe part of that discovery is realizing that you may be projecting. That's not for everybody. And it's not a judgment either. This is, um, we all do it, okay? We are all susceptible to it, especially when we are in weakened states, especially if this is you who is struggling with this nightmare right now, anxiety. Doesn't sound like, you know, the, you're in the most stable spot as far as feeling secure goes. So that could be, that could be what's going on right now. Or if your family unit is not feeling secure either, this totally makes sense. Not a judgment. It's just an illumination or a request to view you a little bit deeper to see if you may be doing this. Okay. So the good stuff for you or you guys, my Virgo friends, you are uh, receiving the two pentacles here. This is balance. So I feel like um, in releasing and becoming present and examining if perhaps that may be applying to you, you are calling in balance to your life, bringing in some healing to whatever's going on with the family unit or releasing some of that anxiety. Yes, there may be, that's going to be, yeah, balancing light and dark, your divine masculine, divine feminine too. Having, so releasing grudges, wounds, and pent-up feelings through healthy activities, the emperor being the divine masculine, this is going to be exercise, you guys, breaking a sweat, okay? Divine feminine is going to be more like meditation, going for a calm walk, 
becoming receptive. The divine masculine is, is exerting or giving, okay? So getting the heart rate up, breaking a sweat. I feel like that's really important for some of you. <laughs> There's some aggression that needs to be worked out. King of Cups, you guys. Mastery over some emotions, bringing that balance in too. For some of you, this could be your King of Cups too. Like you are, and genderless, this isn't gendered here. You, as you are becoming the king, your own king of pentacles, you're drawing in your king of cups. Or vice versa. Like I said, you're becoming that divine counterpart for your divine counterpart. Ooh, <laughs> Virgo, yes. I love that. Any other info for Virgo here? The good stuff. Page of Swords. Lovers at the bottom, you guys. So for some of you, I do feel like love is, is coming in. Certainly, love for you. It is also being at a crossroads. Um, so maybe I feel like some of you are having, like I said, some trouble with the family unit. The last reading was about releasing a big secret, something that needed to come to light. Some of you may be struggling with um, a relationship that you're in currently. Maybe the relationship is not healthy anymore. So there's a call to examine that. But I feel like with the, the Page of Swords being the student, being a call to curiosity, you are examining it in the way that it needs to be examined. Like I said, if this applies to you with the projection, you're stepping away from that and you're looking at it with, uh, with a more objective eye, okay? Seeing what role that you're playing in the situation too. But for others of you that this is applying to love, I feel like someone's got their eye on you. <laughs> and why not Virgo? My sexy Virgo friend. Any other information here for Virgo and the good stuff? Ooh, how exciting. What a great way to start the year. Twin flame. <laughs> stop it. Don't stop it. A spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. So this isn't going to apply to everybody. Not everybody has a twin flame. And that is okay. Um, a soulmate, divine connection as well. Most of the time, you, got, you don't always want a twin flame relationship. This usually means like chaos, okay? Because rarely are we also ready for a twin flame if... We have one. But for some of you, there is a note about a twin flame here, okay? I'm here for it. Let's do it. So the underlying influence here, the hidden, uh, the message that's driving this, uh, mechanism that's driving this message forward, excuse me, you guys have Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles is a self-made person. She knows what she wants in her life and she puts it into her life. Having the king and queen of pentacles coming through here, I'm being drawn back to a divine counterpart, you guys. And like I said, twin flame's not applying to everyone, but having that come through, twin flame, divine counterpart, soulmate, falling under that tree too. This is a power couple, power couple vibes. And having the emperor come through too, I feel like being the hidden influence, you guys are being drawn to this. You are connecting to the divine, so you're being drawn or you're being connected to the person you're meant to be, those of you that are looking for love, because you are connecting to the divine. That's what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's the best dating site there is out there. Like, you still have to get out there and, and you know, be available to connect with people. Nobody's going to come flying through your window, hopefully. <laughs> but um, abundance, you guys. Abundance, fertility. I feel that there's this magnetism towards that kind of activity. The tower. So the tower here has come through just about every sign. Um, and I think you guys may have had a tower, may have had a tower in the last reading. Anyway, so I do feel like there are global tower moments going on, but every time I read this too, it is also on a personal level. Okay. Because we are a part of the collective. <laughs> So, um, Virgo, yeah, I think that there was a tower. I feel like this is, um, this is surrounding for some of you, that relationship, whatever is going on relationship wise, like to be honest with you, you guys, I don't feel like it's healthy for some of you. It feels like it, it may need to end. Okay. I'm going to be, I'm going to be frank. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, that has been coming through quite a bit, honestly. Having transformation with the dragonfly too. It's like, like you just need to be honest, okay? But for others of you, um, it's this realization or shift. This does come with a cost, the tower. 
I feel like that cost is just um, shedding. There's a component of your old life that you'll be transitioning into that will need to go, which makes sense because as you realize more, you can't also stick with an old way of thinking, okay, or processing. Nine of Cups and King of Cups. So you had King of Cups and your good stuff too. I feel like you guys, I mean, it's this mastery of emotions. You guys are being led to more fertile emotions is what I heard. Which means that there needs to be, like, there's a process of, of being cracked open that needs to happen here. Nine of Cups here too. This is finding peace and calm in the chaos. So what I, what I kind of feel, this may not even be a personal tower. This may have to do with your family. You're having anxiety around, like there is chaos happening around you, but you're being requested to find that center, whether this is happening to you or around you. Nine of Cups, this is your personal satisfaction. This is a wish um, granted from the universe too. I have a really good feeling about this tower, you guys. <laughs> do not be scared. Any other info here? Passions, don't be afraid to, to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. So that's what this guy's doing on the nine of cups here. He's making all those, making all those cups because he is a, um, oh, what is the word? Anyway, he's, uh, his, he's got skill <laughs> towards making cups. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on that right now. We are still in Mercury post shadow, but, um, I feel like in order to make this wish come true, something does have to come apart. Like sometimes there are storms that come through our life to clear the path to get us to where we're supposed to go. That's what I feel for most of you this tower is about. This includes me too, okay? I did get a tower for my yearly read, so. Your obstacle or uh, challenge, the hermit. For some of you, I do feel like this is being alone. Um, for others, I feel, I mean, being alone too, but I feel like it is this process of needing to go inside and find the guiding light, the truth inside of you to keep going, to keep moving forward, the illumination on a situation. The challenging part of this is if you are caught up in projections from the past, from the future, it may be difficult to see the truth, but you're being encouraged to try. So Knight of Wands, this is going to be get back up on your horse and try, try again. Try, try again, Virgo. Um, this could be for some of you, like, maybe maybe the relationship isn't over. And this doesn't apply to everybody, okay? But I just very much feel for somebody, <laughs> there is a situation with a relationship where it's not doing well, okay? You're not doing well. It may not be completely over, but having that tower come through kind of feels like it needs to be. If that's not the case for you, I mean, maybe this, this is your challenge mm. because you keep trying to make it work. Mm. You're too afraid to be alone. Mm. That's not for everyone, like I said. I feel like you're going to know if this is for you. Any other information here in the challenge or obstacle? <sighs> Ace of Swords. Cutting through the bullshit, you guys. So for those of you that um, that does apply to with the relationship, you are being asked to be logical, to be objective, to remove emotion and to remove intuition and to look at it logically. Is something working or is it not? Like I said, this isn't applying to everybody. You're going to know if this applies to you. But for others of you, it's just this situation of getting good at examining your inner world, okay? We just got through Mercury retrograde. So what came up in that in that retrograde that um, you need to examine or you need to, to bring more into your life? So the way that I've been, interesting, the way that I've been looking at this is the light outcome and the shadow outcome, the highest outcome possible, the lowest vibrational outcome possible. I do want to pull one more card here. On any advice on the challenge? Divine counterpart, a divine connection sent to you from your angels. Twin flame came through too. For those of you that this relationship is ending, I feel like it is because you are being led to the person you're you're meant to be with, okay? And that doesn't mean this person wasn't. Maybe they weren't. Maybe it was just a choice that you made that wasn't well thought out. Um, maybe 
the contract's over. You're being led in a different direction. The wish that you've been wishing for is you're being led to that, but something needs to be removed from your life in order to get there. So in the light and shadow outcomes here, I feel like making these choices to open up, to change, to get out of the past, to get into the present, even getting away from the future, you're being moved to this divine counterpart. This could be a friend. It could be a romantic relationship for some of you. It could be a business partnership too. It depends on like what you're looking for in life. But I do very much feel love for like strongly in this. And that's probably because there are strong emotions surrounding that. So you guys have three of pentacles and the emperor. Three of pentacles is going to be success in working with others. So in the shadow or the light outcome here, this is you opening up and allowing yourself to be led. Having that success with somebody else. There may need to be some counseling that needs to happen here to bring yourself into that situation. Uh, the emperor, again, you had that in your general. So again, being present, your divine counterpart, becoming the divine counterpart so that you can be led to your divine counterpart. Any other information here? in the outcome of light the three of swords <clears throat> and this did um fly in upside down here so uh the way i take that is healing is healing from some heartbreak so for those of you that this situation you may be going through currently it's a past situation if you've been through it already that request here the challenge is to still like getting comfortable with being alone if that's you and whether this is love or friendship or business, like I said, we do require connection, but there's something about, there's something about being okay with being alone. Like as soon as you accept, accept it, not like that it's your fate, but find a way to be comfortable in that moment, it changes. Okay. I feel like then your community comes in when you stop resisting whatever's trying to change here in your unit that anxiety disappears with the nine of swords the encouragement is to get away from it you don't have to stick around okay so in the outcome of the shadow here you guys have ten of pentacles and five of swords so ten of pentacles typically is a fantastic card this is your um community you guys <laughs> the um, anxiety being around your family, your community here too. So this is your community feeling like you belong. Conflict is what comes through with the five of swords. So there's conflict surrounding your, this is resisting, okay? If you continue to resist, like I said, there's just this feeling of, as soon as you breathe into just, this is, I accept where I am right now, like through the eye of the needle you go and things change. Because there's some good shit coming. You guys are moving towards love. The high priestess here is what comes through. So this is the shadow. What I hear is uh, what is in the shadow remains in the shadow. This is your unconscious realm. If you continue to resist, the message that's coming through is to illuminate to you what's going on. Okay. Um, Six of cups at the bottom here. You may be struggling with your inner child, feeling fearful but it's someone from your past or that's meant to be in your past is what i'm hearing you're not for everyone and you may be giving yourself to somebody who doesn't deserve you <laughs> friendship family romantic business if you are trying to get somebody if you need to talk somebody into liking something about you you're in the wrong spot that's what i'm feeling okay virgo I love you guys so much. I know you guys got this, okay? Just give in. Give in. Let it wash over you. You can do this. I'll see you guys very soon. Please have a beautiful, beautiful week. All right. Bye.